Yo, what's up guys? It's Cliff with Pen Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're gonna be working in West Chase, Florida. We're gonna be doing a driveway, sidewalk cleaning on uh, the walkway, as well as a uh, pool cage and pool deck in the back. Uh, myself and Dewan is working together today. Uh, we do have three projects to complete. Um, the weather been kind of crazy, a lot of rain. Today's looking much better, so hopefully we don't get soaked. <laughs> so, um, you know, keep an eye for that so if we cut the video a little short it's because of the rain so i'm gonna show you guys what we got going on if you haven't yet subscribe like and leave a comment and hit the bell so you don't put up a new video so let's go so to start off here we got a no dirty driveway sidewalks are pretty bad we're stopping right here at this property line we do the curbing the drain on the street I'm gonna be using the 12 GPM pressure washer in the Mini Mondo. And then um, the one is gonna use the eight and a downstream injector to clean the pool cage and the pool deck. I'm gonna show you guys the back. All right, guys, this is the back area here. Um, you guys can see we got your basic algae build up on the frame, kind of green on the screen. You can kind of see it here. A lot of green on the on the beams if you look up there you see some very very dark algae on the outside of the cage we may have to shoot that with a stronger mix to get that off because i don't think downstream is going to get that off you can see how bad it is the screen is kind of green too on this side here i can see it all throughout right here So we're gonna use our downstream injector to get most of it done. If we do need to, um, you know, go stronger, we'll just do that with the software system. Uh, also for the deck, we're not gonna be surface cleaning this deck. We're just gonna be using the, you know, the downstream mix for dwell uh, to let it dwell, and then we're gonna use the gun to uh, just rinse everything. But you can see here, all throughout right here, a lot of, a lot of algae build up. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna use the Mondo with a 12 gallons per minute pressure washer. I'm using this black line right here that I have. This is a half inch line. The one is using a 3.8 uh, with the uh, eight GPM in the back. Getting an early start, 8.30 right now. We'll see how long it takes me to finish this. If I'm finished early, which I will before him, I just go help go go help him back there to rinse up whatever I gotta do. Y'all stay tuned. I got the driveway clean, rinsed. Oh, got a customer texting me. Right now it is 8.50. Um, I do have a few lines that I got to take care of. You guys can pick it up on camera. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull treat this with a 5% mix of uh, SH, sodium hypochlorite. Oh, you can see the lines there too. Uh, sodium hypochlorite is chlorine. So a 50-50 mix from the 12 and a half percent. I call it a 6%. Um, that's probably what I'm gonna use, 6%. Okay. 
you can see some more lines here. Yeah, these things to be popping. Got to take all all the lines, all the tanning stains um, away from the sidewalks and the concrete uh, over here on this driveway. You can see here, there's a lot of it here. No pressure washing is gonna take that off. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go join the one in the, the one in the back to finish the pool deck. All right, you guys, you can see in here is looking much brighter already. The one has already rinsed the outside. He's gonna start rinsing from this side here. And I'll start rinsing from that side. Get everything double rinsed together. Y'all stay tuned. We all wrapped up. Everything is clear here. Oh, wipe the screen. There we go. See now the cage is nice and white. No more algae on the screens. Food deck is cleaned up. Right here, the one. The rest of the patio is clean and washed. We just rinsed it off within, uh, use the surface cleaner. I'm gonna show you guys the front now. All right, this is the front side. We got the sidewalk clean to the property line. You guys saw that, you know, I say I was gonna post street. So I put a post street on here. Now you can't see none of the lines that I had earlier. All the tanning stains are gone on that spot right here. All cleared up, nice clean concrete, still wet. It's gonna be nice and white when it's just, you know, sun dries it up. Got the walkway done as well. All in all, you see, 922, we've been here <laughs> we started an hour ago, pretty much. So we're gonna pack up and uh, head to the next job. We'll see y'all when we get there. Okay, we had the second job. Uh, we're pretty much in the same area of West Chase. We were eight minutes away from the last job. Um, we're gonna be doing the pool cage and the pool deck cleaning here. Uh, first time customer, found me on Google. 
So they saw my reviews and want to uh, get the job done. Let me show you guys what it looks like. All right, so this is the outside of the cage here. Got some basic algae starting to grow. It's on the frame here. Some algae growing here. All over. So downstream is what we're gonna be doing. Same thing we did last job, downstream. Customer will move everything inside. This is grill that's out here, which is fine. We'll do the deck. We'll surface clean the deck with the 19 inch since we're using the uh, eight to uh, clean this cage. I don't wanna pull two hoses, but this thing is pretty filthy. They call this algae right there. The screens aren't that bad, but we'll go ahead and uh, you know spray them down a little bit and get uh, you know the dust off of them. But the cage, I mean the frame, definitely needs some love. So the one's gonna start spraying it from the outside here. We're gonna walk, wrap around, and uh, spray the inside, and uh, go back out, rinse, and come in here and rinse it, uh, the cage down, and then we'll do the deck last. All right, y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, we just got done applying the mix on the inside and out, or outside and in. <laughs> uh, we're gonna let it dwell for a little bit. It's starting to come off, you guys can see. We'll do a little test here. <laughs> Look at that. Just melts off like butter. Why are you shaking your head, man? <laughs> <laughs> You guys, we're finishing up uh, renting the deck now. Over here's all the rent. Cage is nice and clean, nice and bright. All the algae is gone. She's looking pretty good. All the dirty beans are clean. We got one more project to complete today. It's still early right now. 11.14. We're probably going to just grab a lunch. I do have an estimate to do. And then we got another job, which is um, an oil spot removal. We're going to be doing for a residential customer. We're going to attempt to use some... Um, other products that I have not used on the channel so y'all stay tuned for that 
And uh, we'll see you guys when we get there. Now look at this deck, man. This deck is looking pretty good. Yes, sir. All right, you guys, we're at the final job for the day. Right now, we're in a uh, new Tampa area. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, oil stand removal for a customer. Um, you know, he tried, somebody came out here and tried to get it up or even make it lighten up, and it didn't. So the, they called me to get a crack at it. So we're going to try it today. Uh, I got some new product I'm going to use. Uh, it's a test product. I was given by a pressure washing store and I haven't yet even got the name for it. <laughs> so they were they're testing it out and uh you know they told me you know test it out and see how it is. Uh this thing here is um diesel fuel uh diesel um oil. So they have like a sprinter van they park here. I guess the you know it leaks all all over the place, mostly over here. So um like I said, somebody tried to clean it up before. In the past, they got it up, then it happened again, and then the next person couldn't get it up. So therefore, you know, we're gonna try to see what happens with this new product. So uh, I'm gonna set up here and get going. Um, they say you can add this undiluted. I'm, I mean, 50-50, uh, but I'm gonna do it undiluted because um, I don't wanna sit here all day. So I'm gonna give it a try and see what happens. Y'all stay tuned. Alright guys, so I just applied the degrees on there. I'm gonna let it sit right now. Let me see what time it is. It's 143. So we're gonna give it some time to dwell. Um, I'm gonna agitate it with a brush a little bit. And uh, we may have to work in layers. We're gonna get this thing to be lightened up. Y'all stay tuned. Alright guys, I've agitated the spot a few times. I'm keeping it wet because it's hot out here. You don't want it to dry. So uh, right now it's about two o'clock. I'll do the first rinse and see what layer comes off. And uh, if I gotta do it again, that's just what I'll do. Y'all stay tuned. All right, let this thing dwell still. Been almost 10 minutes. The next door neighbor just paid me to do her driveway. So we're gonna clean that once she leaves. Worked out perfect. While I'm waiting for this to dry, I mean, uh, to uh, dwell, I can do the next door neighbor's driveway. I got the neighbors done. Nice clean concrete. Did the walkway up there and everything for them. Give them a great deal. They went ahead and sell me the money. Yes, sir. You can see the difference. Meanwhile, our spot is dwelling. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this block off right here. It looks a whole lot better. Like I said, we got to work in layers, so I'm going to go ahead and trouble it now, and then um, we'll see what happens. finish here did my best <laughs> used uh, the new product I got even used some um, Stampede plus degreaser on, on it as well and came out the best as it's gonna be for me at least so let's show you guys what it looks like all right so this is it now it's 
much lighter, but it's still there. I mean, it's diesel oil. It's pretty, pretty tough stuff, man. I mean, it's concentrated in one area. So, hey, that's why you set expectations before you do the job. You know, nothing is 100% when it comes to the, you know, oils and uh, even sometimes rust. So, uh, I'm pretty sure hot water might do a little better job, but I don't have hot water. And I've used, I actually used three three different degrees on this. And uh, this is what it looks like. So, it is what it is, guys. <laughs> Sometimes it's just how it is. That's how it goes. All right, well, that's it. I'm going to pack it up and I'll go get me some lunch. I haven't eaten all day, so I'm going to see you on the next one. Enjoy it. Peace.